because with me, insulin takes a very long time to kick in. So it's hard because my sugar, one second I'll see it at 500 or 400 or super high. And then the other second I'll see it super low and then I have to get out of class. I have to figure out the, se the session or the lesson I'm learning in class by myself and I have to ask the teacher to explain it to me and that gets overwhelming and sometimes I'll just start crying because I'm overwhelmed with all the things that I have to do. Um, I live with diabetes every day by wearing an insulin pump and a Dexcom sensor and I test my sugar when I wake up, before meals, and before I go to bed. I wear um, a continuous glucose monitor and I give myself my own shots and I prick my finger seven times a day. Every night, they monitor my blood sugars through the Dexcom app, and so sometimes I'll wake up to my, my mom or dad pricking my finger to check my blood sugar, and it kind of freaks me out at first, but then I just laugh about it. At first, the insurance company didn't want to give us a pump, but my dad had to talk with them and have meetings with them until they would finally let me get a pump, which so the, the doctors at first told me that it might be a little bit too much to get the Dexcom and the pump at the same time. And again, my parents had to support me and tell the doctors, like, I'm ready for this, these two new devices, like, I really want them. And so I got the Dexcom, and then two weeks later, I got the pump. I, um, knew that I wanted to be in healthcare in some capacity because I knew what it was like to be on the other side of, you know, like the receiving end of a scary diagnosis. And I figured that I wanted to use this, even though it's not ideal, it gave me a lot more empathy. And so I want to be a genetic counselor so I can um, help families that are, you know, going through things be able to help them, you know, medically, but also say, I've been in your shoes and it's going to be okay, like I promise. When I grow up, I want to have my own makeup company called Eloquence because I'm in love with makeup. I ask my mom to go to Sephora every single day. I'm sure that all she hears when she's sleeping is, can we go to Sephora? Can we go to Sephora? Because I ask her every single day. Uh, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up, but I do know I want to make people happy. Going to JDRF, it was the first opportunity that I had to meet someone with type 1 diabetes and that really made uh, my life better of saying I'm not the only one. For the JDRF, I have raised money, attended multiple fundraisers, and I volunteered in the office. Um, when I was first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, um, the first year I did not participate in the walk, it was too late. but. I participated in two JDRF Broward County One Walks and I made a team called Naturally Sweet. And together, me, my friends, and family, we have raised over $15,000 for JDRF. What my world would look like if there were no T1D, it would be both 
good and bad. It would be easier for me to eat whatever I want throughout the day um, and really exercise more and it'd just be easier. Um, but also it wouldn't be as good because I wouldn't have made so many friends through camp and the walk and I wouldn't be best friends with my friend Angela who also has type 1 diabetes. And for me, a world without type 1 diabetes would probably include a lot less stress and a lot more sleep. Um, definitely a lot of sleepless nights, sensors going off for highs, lows, anything in between. Um, I'd have a lot more mind space to think about you know, my exams instead of wondering what my sugar is at any given moment. On, um, on Thursday last week, I had a run at my school to fundraise money, and I ran 50 laps. I ran the most in my class. I'm an active high school student. I play a lot of sports, and so, yes, I do have to test my blood sugar and take boluses and that kind of stuff, but I, I don't see type 1 diabetes as something that slows me down. I hope for a day when all of us can look back and say, hey, remember when you had type 1 diabetes? I promise to continue working with JDRF to help find better management and a cure for type 1 diabetes. I, just, I dream about everybody being happy and healthy and not having to deal with this anymore. <laughs>